Hello and welcome back, and we have, indeed, reached a milestone. Yes, we have resorted to blowing up giant 500s made of Earths. But that's not the milestone. The milestone is that we hit 500 subscribers. And managed to not have to stop this video halfway through because of loud family. So... Let's get to the point and start this. Da da da! <laughs> wow, that that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Science. That was pretty impressive. I thought they were just gonna kind of converge, but no, they all just flew out towards some unknown object. Okay, well, I've decided I am going to, well, on demand, make a geocentric solar system, I think? i just, I'll just guess. So we're just going to use a random gas giant. Onswad. Ooh. Catchy name. And we're just going to pump it up. Make it pretty massive, and then it'll start nuclear combustion, and we get a sun. A word, I mean, star, not sun. Okay, let's just uh, speed it up. Okay. So, and there's like a dark spot right there. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, so here's our sun. I'm. Star, dang it. Star. Let's make it a bit bigger. We want to be creative. How about three? Oh, yeah. There we go. It's blue now. So, let's start with our random rocky planets. We're going to actually put on these lines. That may look cool. And then. Oh, I haven't even made sure it's ge geocentric, but whatever. Ooh, well, I'm sure whoever asked cares. I'll look it up in a second. Because I'm not exactly sure what that means. Well, I know. Y y you know. I just... Geocentric. Oh. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. Okay, thanks to Google, I know I was completely wrong. By geocentric, I felt like... Wow, yeah, that didn't... Why did I think that? I like how it shows the gravity. I was wrong this and stuff, but... Um... Okay, we are going to have to change that because of as I oh no, that's actually all of the stuff being ejected from the planets because it's so freaking hot. It's like really warm. So let's cool down the star. Oh, uh oh. This is actually allowing for these things to cool down a bit. But now my orbits are all kind of wacky. Maybe it'll cool down enough to solidify? No. Okay, now let's actually do what we were supposed to do. I knew I had heard geocentric somewhere. But so, geocentric is the Earth in the center. So this is going to be interesting. So we're going to need to pump up Earth because there's no way we are going to get other things to orbit Earth without it being a little bit larger. By a little bit larger, I mean quite a bit larger. 
think we'll start with 15 times, because then at least smaller. No, it'll be affected too much by the gravity itself. We're going to have to do like a hundred times. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. It's cooling down. Now, the other planets are going to be pretty freezing. Because, if you think about it, no sun, no star of any sort, you know. It gets kind of cold. But who cares? It's geocentric, so... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Better idea. <laughs> well, my idea is kind of crazy, actually. But... Who cares? Uh. Huh, I can't find the comment. Oh, well. <sighs> Okay, so, we are going. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think the the world's slowly just cooling down. But we're going to fix that. So first of all, we are going to make this a lot bigger. I don't know how large I can... Can I... Oh, I can just kind of... Yeah! Um, so... What's that? Oops, I forgot. Press enter there. Oh! Too much. Oh. Come on. Well, the undo button works. Tiny bit. Oh, Control Z just. Oh. Well, let's retry that. So we are going to try. Um. Earth. We're going to try. Two thousand Earth. Okay, that isn't bad. What is that compared to the sun? Can we get anywhere? Dang. Yes, maybe. That is not going to cool down. Okay. Oh, delete. Try this again. We Earth. Earth. I think a thousand may actually be the closest we can get. Which we'll try to actually triple it. Because science. Okay. So what we're going to do... Oh no. <laughs> Imminently realizes what this means. No, I can't do that. <laughs> this is bad. I'm quickly realizing that what I thought would work. Whoa. Well then, um, what I was planning on doing was making Earth so massive that a star would orbit it, but that wouldn't exactly work. But what I can attempt to do is to go back, go to Earth, make it 5,000, I think. Oh, oops. Too much, too much. 4,000. Here we are. Four <laughs> so bad at this. Um, okay, so we're going to try 4,000 Earth. Uh, okay, that looks good. 
For forty nine. I said four thousand. Ah, here we are. Okay, so we are going to attempt to do something kind of crazy. Since we can't rely on the mass of the planet to do this, we're going to have to actually. First of all, this is way too close. I don't know what I was thinking there. Ooh, oh, oh no. Did I, did I just mess up the Earth's poles? Oh, yep, I did. But we can just. There we go. Close enough. Um. Jupiter, we're gonna move until we have an orbit. Okay, good enough. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty darn close. But we are going to make Jupiter super dense. Because I figure if we can make it dense enough, we can start combustion. That's a theory. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that, saying not to quote. My not quoting. Okay. Hmm. Thirty, forty. Are we getting any heat? Nope. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. It's getting really tight in there. 150, 60, 70, 80, 90. Holy moly, this thing just does not. It does not want to hold that. I knew that would be a problem. Okay, well, we can try just going absolutely. It won't last long enough. We can't compress it down to the point we need it to be compressed at. Oh, so... Okay, you know what? Oh, come on. How does it do that? It needs a lot... Oh. Stupid me. As long as this thing keeps in orbit, we're going to have to give it a bit more mass. What is this? Um, 12 Jupiters, so we can safely go up to like 6. Theoretically. 7? 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'm not going past that because I'm not even sure if we're orbiting Earth anymore. It's... Yeah, it's more of... Well, they're orbiting each other. Close enough. As long as the loop doesn't get closer each time, we're fine. Okay, so... Now we throw up the density. Come on! You know what? <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to come out of the mass. Well, guys, I think it's obvious that there's a reason that we do not live in a geocentric universe. And that is, it's... I don't want to say it, but it's kind of impossible. The problem is to have the sun orbiting the earth, the earth has to have more mass. This is impossible without the earth becoming a star, and that kind of ruins earth. Um, see, if we do this anymore, we become a gas giant, and then we'll just become... Okay, so since we have proven that this just isn't possible at all, Sorry, dude, who suggested it, but it appears we're just going to have to give up. 
Dang, I hate giving up. Makes me feel bad. Someone had a good idea, but it just didn't work. Because it was technically impossible. Oh well. Here goes moons! And there goes Earth. Wow! I cannot believe that. I felt. Oh! Here we go! Geocentric solar system! Uh, maybe another time when I can. I'll do a bit more testing and we will come back to this, but right now, I don't think it's possible. So the other thing we will set is to do a hypernova. <sighs> Hypernovas are not going to be easy, and that's because of the sheer amount of energy you need. So long duration gravitational gra stellar mass practical. Okay. So, what we need <laughs> is a star, and this is going to have to hold a lot of mass for that thing. What? That, <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Okay, um... Add so we're gonna add Sirius B there. And we're going to zoom in. This may take a little bit. Here we are. So, um I'm gonna shut off realistic mode. And we're going to give this thing a lot of mass. If I turn on realistic mode, it will just explode, and that's not what we're go- Oh, didn't mean to do that. Just trying to slow down time. Can't multitask! Okay. So... It's pretty big, but well, maybe we want it to be a bit bigger. Tiny bit smaller. Tiny bit small. Tiny bit small. Tiny bit. Oh, it's already a black hole. Dang it. Well, we'll add one zero at a time and we'll figure out how many zeros we can put on it. Um. Okay. Zero. And. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just use the sun because the sun is simpler. Okay, that's pretty big. Can I hit a thousand? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, um, I'm gonna stretch it and say ten thousand, but I don't. Okay, that that's the furthest I can probably go. So, when we turn on realistic mode... Okay, yeah, that's the closest to a hypernova you're going to get. Um, we do have a remnant, and it is actually a black hole with a lot of mass. It's very bright, too. So, um, guys, thank you for watching. Even though I kind of couldn't do what I originally set out to do. It just proved science. This is actually brighter than most other supernovas, so maybe this is actually kind of like a hypernova. We lag. Hmm. Well, goodbye.